for Sam Fakeshaw. Ball roll, touch. Get back on the inside. Near post shot. Beautiful goal. Nice. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Player of the Month, Timo Werner, to review today. I know a few of you guys wanted me to review this card, so we're going to be doing that today because there's no content released today, which is understandable because they're probably going to be super busy with content in regards to future stars and then pulling out SPCs left, right, and center. So we're going to be really busy for the next few days in regards to that. So just for today, we're going to do a nice little chill upload with uh, Timo Werner. Uh, we're going to be looking at a card that essentially has... Perfect pace, so you don't have to improve the pace. His finishing is already quite nice, and he has 87 shot power. 87 shot power is already very nice as well. Um, the thing about this card, and I do agree with my homie giving him the plus 5 on the uh, composure here, is that the sniper chemistry style is genuinely the only chemistry style you should use because 79 composure is a huge, huge downfall of the card, right? So giving him the sniper to essentially give him, give him more responsive dribbling as well as better composure so that when he's dealing with, you know, those quick cuts, he has to shoot from certain angles, so on and so forth. It's going to be very important to be able to do that with this card, right? He doesn't have skill moves, but he does have the four-star weak foot. It's always a problem when the player doesn't have the four-star weak foot. Like, it's not a huge problem because, you know, every, every card is fun in their own way. Like, Loic Remy's Moments card, it's not a meta card by any means, but he's just a fun card in general, right? So, with this card right here, we're looking at someone that's four-star weak foot, which is great, right? Five foot 11, high medium work rates, and right-footed. So, He's a tall player, got a decent stock in game, so we'll see We'll see how that works, right? Doesn't have strength stats, but he does have stamina, so I could use the comeback and defense on him with the striker position. Jumping, heading acceleration, not a huge deal. 77 jumping while being 5'11 is already pretty decent, so if he's kind of like in front of the defender, he'll be able to like lay it off to other people, right? So uh, yeah, it should be interesting to try out this card. I do think it's going to play well, because... He's going to have 96 agility with 86 balance. The balance part is going to is going to be the one I'm going to see the most, but I do think he'll still be responsive enough because his rare gold with a sniper chemistry style was already kind of nice. Um, it wasn't responsive enough, but I'm pretty sure with this player of the month, uh, especially since, you know, Timo Werner has been fantastic this year, he's most likely going to get a winter upgrade on this card, right? You're looking at a very, very nice card. If they improve this card by plus twos or plus threes, even in the dribbling, beautiful, right? So we're going to go ahead and try him out. Very, very fun cause of team. Every time I look at it, it just makes me happy because I love seeing people play the game like this. Um, we're going to be using him in a 4-2-3-1. He's going to be playing as my main striker up top. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Can someone in the chat, you know, help me out with that? Uh, Ivan Perisic, Serge Gnabry is going to play on the right side. Verstraet is going to play on the right side. Thomas Delaney with the left foot on the left side. And then so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. We're going to see how it plays in game. And hopefully, hopefully he's just a monster. Oh, good little movement right there. We'll lay the ball off to him right here. Ball roll, touch, touch. Oh, almost got that. Nice. I call it the touch, touch because that little dribble, you can see that he kind of like moves a certain way after I do that. So it just allows you to open up the space a little bit more, which is um, always a nice thing to be able to do, right? I really like his positioning. Um, off the ball wise, it's really, really good. Good little physical presence right there to hold up the play. Yeah, his his uh, off the ball movement is really good. He does do these little bursts of sprint speed uh, into open in space, which I like a lot too. So uh, we're gonna do some further experimentation here, but so far I'm really liking that movement. I do need to take off this guy though, because I think he's very generic. Uh, should not have done that. The, the speed of that ball is way too fast, but um, I'm liking the card so far in the striker position. It doesn't feel like a nuisance. Nicely done. Great little goal right there. See, the, the thing about the passes, right, is that you have to judge the weight of the pass to be able to do the dummy to go behind you uh, to open up the space. You see how we do that small little bit of movement to open up the space? Um, I just have to replace this this Dutch dude, Boitis or Boitius or something like that. That's a big yikes for me in regards to his card. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're just going to switch him. But so far, I'm really liking Timo Warner's card in the game. So today... I like that he's not a super aggressive runner. Like, he understands when he needs to run. I always like players like that. Get a chip shot? Ooh. Good sprint speed, man. I like that I don't have to increase the sprint speed on his card. He's so, so far, I'm really liking him, man. I, I like that he's not an, uh, uh, 
He's not an aggressive attacker when he doesn't need to be. See? He always uses, utilizes that empty space instantly. I like that. That specific run, when they see the empty space and they utilize it without me having to tell them specifically to do it, I, I like a lot, man. It's kind of like this like uh, press defensive line type tactic where they kind of want to hold that onside. And then, um, and then progress from there. Oh man, I should have uh, should have done some extra stuff right there for sure. Oh, great dribbling! Really good dribbling. Yeah, yeah. His dribbling, his dribbling with this chemistry style is already good enough in my opinion. Yeah, quick cuts. That's what you look for. You see those quick cut dribbling, uh, dribbling things. That's what I always look for with strikers, man. Being able to do that is a huge, huge part of the gameplay in this game. First time fake shot, ball roll, touch, get back on the inside, near post shot, beautiful goal, nice, beautiful stuff. Time that run, beautiful, nice. Got to be composed there, man. When you get close to the goalkeeper, you got to be composed. Dude, I love his runs, man. His runs, he's so smart because he holds the onside. You know, he holds that line to never go offside, and I just love that, man. If he ever overcommits, he comes back really quickly. It's just brilliant. Okay, so he aggressively pushes up. See, gets back into the position. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Being able to aggressively push up, but then he comes back instantly. Because look, it's it's that whole thing. I, when I always look at the strikers, right? I always look at the review of them doing that. That specific feature of them pushing forward, pushing the defensive line farther back, and then them going right back into position to get into an open space is a huge thing, man. His layoff passes are really good. Look at how fast he is. Look at that. You see that? A little dab of a cross. Oh. Delaney with the power strike. Oh my god, he actually placed that really nicely. <laughs> nice. Got it. <laughs> we got it, we got it. Alright guys, so final verdict on the card, he is a ton of fun to use. And that comes as no surprise because the rare gold card, it was already pretty solid for a beginner card. Obviously the problem with it though, is that dribbling wise, it still wasn't up to par. You can see that when you give him the sniper boost on this card in general, he still only has 79 composure with 81 balance. But if you see the player of the month card, it's obviously drastically improved for that to be significantly better. But with the sniper chemistry style. This can present to be a problem from time to time, right? So it really depends on whether you guys think it's worth it for 326k, because I think it's expensive personally, right? But it just depends on how you guys play the game, right? I always I will always give you my opinion, but then you guys kind of take your opinions. Oh, I have untradeables. Oh, I'm making a Bundesliga team, German, blah, blah, blah. You take it from there, right? I think he's kind of expensive. I'll kind of explain why. He's a fantastic striker in game, but my problem with him, even with the upgrades in the future, is that even if he gets the upgrades, I feel like it is always going to be a mandatory thing to give him a sniper chemistry style because of his composure being so low. If EA were to increase his composure to an 84, right? An 84 base, not, not having to improve it, I wouldn't necessarily have to use a sniper chemistry style, right? It would be a matter of, you know, giving him like a marksman so that, you know, because because his agility and balance and stuff would also be improved, his dribbling would be responsive enough with the marksman chemistry style, and then I can boost his shot power to basically maximize, ma maximize it as much as possible. But when you guys take a look at this, right, you can still see composure is low, right? So... That's the thing about this card is that it's brilliant, but you always have to give him a sniper chemistry style. So there's going to be certain parts of his gameplay that you wish you could improve, but you can't. But is it necessarily like a huge deal? 
Not really, because to be honest with you guys, he performs really well in game. He is one of those types of strikers that likes to hold that defensive line when he's running. He doesn't, you know when players, they just kind of like aggressively run, but they get past the defender and then they're just like aimlessly walking around. They don't know what to do. Timo Warner is a type of guy that was that is going to hold that line as he's running for a good amount of time. Because obviously he'll get past it eventually, but if he gets past it, it's because you missed the opportunity, right? He's going to hold that line really well. And even if he aggressively pushes forward, He's right back into position and he's so fast at transitioning back into position that the defender is now caught off guard. He's like, oh crap, this guy's out of this guy went back to his position, but Timo Werner's in an open situation. You guys, you guys kind of saw that when his defender pushed back, and then Timo Werner was like, okay, I'm gonna go back into position, get myself on my left foot, shoot with my four-star weak foot with near enough perfect finishing because he has 99 finishing with 87 shot power, and with the sniper chemistry style, 84 composure, he was able to shoot it, right? And uh yeah, it's, there's a lot of like ifs, ands, or buts with this card, but did I really enjoy using it? Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic card to use, and it's an obvious thing because his rare gold was the baby meta in the beginning of the year, so now it's, you know, a higher tier meta. So, yeah, I enjoyed using the card. Up to you guys whether or not you want to unlock it. Um, I do think that he offers quite a lot for a striker position, and his height, he feels taller in game than 5'11". I will admit that too. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Busy, busy weekend. Tomorrow is my birthday too, man. January 31st. So let's get it going, baby. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.